it's wet, it's cold, it's time to hunt. All right, here we are in Walmart. We are checking stuff out. So far, we still have the G2, Grimlock, and Toxitron. We have Sludge over there. Not a lot. Again, uh, same old Transformers as usual. Uh, this was the part where I was dreading. That's why I wanted to go from the bottom. But hey, look at that. There's a headless Transformer, and the post is broken off. That's one. Look at that. Look at broken off. God dang. And what else do we got? We got number two. And we got number three. Three figures, no heads. And we got number four. Seriously, four. Walmart, what is the deal? I swear to God. You know what? It would be nice if Hasbro or Walmart would come out with an explanation why they think that this is acceptable at this point. Because I don't understand why it is. I don't understand why these guys think that it's okay. And I don't understand why $25 is still the marked price for a figure without a head. But there you go. I was checking the other figures. I'm not a big fan of the Earth Spark, but all of them seem to have heads, which does tell me something about the Earth Spark show being a piece of crap. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so there's RC, no head. There's What's-Her-Face, no head. There's uh, Jackpot, I think is what it is. Jazz, no head. There's what's her face again? No head. That sounds like I'm dating my ex-wife. Um, but that said, um, yeah, they've got Kong over there. They've got some teenage mutant Ninja turtles. Oh my God, these things. Fuggler. Oh, I didn't even see that the name was Fuggler. That makes more sense now. Do you know how utterly gross this is? Those those teeth feel real. Uh, you know, if you guys collect that, more power to you. If you need fake teeth on the cheap, I say buy one of those things and break them teeth out. And you probably could, you know, eat some corn with it. But not so much on the regular turtle front, Baxter Stockman, Newt, um, what's his face, and the frog, Rona Frog. Uh, so there you go. We got um, Thor from the Infinity Saga, Mark II, Iron Man. Winter, uh, Winter Soldier, Captain America, and Bruce Banner was back there. So, um, I thought the camera picked him up a little bit better, but he didn't. And then, of course, we're going to go through and see some of the, the dinosaurs. No one was with me on this hunt, so, you know, there was no RARs. But we have Owlman. They had several Owlman, gold label. And they had a couple of uh, Vampire Robins, which I like the Vampire Robin up into the head. Like, if it was a different head, I'd probably pick it up because I like that Robin suit. Uh, they still have the same bat nipple Batman. There is no other figures for the, the Build-A-Figure for Mr. Freeze. And they've got these new Star Wars figures. They've got Vader and they've got the Mandalorian. Five points of articulation, it looks like. So, there you go. And they're interesting, but I don't know. I haven't really collected a lot. Uh, have Zodak and um, Catra, which you can find at Ross now, uh, which is what I heard earlier today. And we got some more Star Wars. Hopefully, I, I'm going to pull in on the Star Wars. But yeah, there's Boba Fett. Oh, there he is. There's an R5-D4. And it looks like we have Balin Skull and Shin Hati are back there. I think I got a better view of them here in just a second. So yeah, there's Balan Skull. There's Shin Hati. Kind of were tem was tempted to pick them up. Uh, and then there's a commander, a Mandalorian commander back there. So nothing that was specifically named. And then, of course, uh, Hati is back there again. And another Mandalorian commander back there. So, fleet commander. And I think there's another Balan Skull back there before we got to Luke. So, and the rest were the rest of the Ahsoka line, uh, Fifth Brother. That was kind of cool. I mean, like, some of those were ones that really seemed like things I wanted to pick up. But, uh, you know, budget was a little tight. So, uh, some Adam Pages, some Zach Harwood, MJF are still there. CM Punks are still there uh, for that Ultimate Collection, if anyone's interested in those CM Punks. And then, uh, not a lot as far as Masters of the Universe goes. Wave 4, Moss Man. That's it. 
I was hoping by looking at the, the tags over there that they were going to list some other stuff. Uh, then, of course, you got the CGI He-Man, uh, Iron Grenader. Nothing up at the top except Wave 4. And then, of course, the same old G.I. Joe's as always. So that was that aisle. Yay, let's go check out collectibles. So we're just doing the quick run. Um, I actually ran through this and then forgot that I didn't hit record, so we're going about it the other way. Uh, so same stuff. The collector's aisle always, always, always looks picked through and bare. And, of course, we have to stop and say hi to Aquaman. I said this before and I'll say it again. Aquaman sucks. And, of course, honestly, this kind of just you know, ends the rest of the collectible aisle. There's trunks, and there's really nothing else here. Well, it's still cold, but not nearly as wet. Now we're at Target, which is, you know, the better version of Walmart, because Walmart sucks like Aquaman. Okay, so here we are. We're actually going to go through the toy aisle. So they have uh, Winter Soldier Captain America. Uh, uh, they have Spider-Man from in Mark II. Uh, several Mark IIs. Uh, a bunch of MJs are still there. Surprise, surprise. And now I'm kind of half tempted to want to get an MJ since I have Peter Parker, uh, Spider-Man from you know, Captain America. But that's that's a whole other story. Uh, Mutt and Junkyard are still there. Looks like they have quite a few. Um, and by quite a few, I mean three. So there you go, Mutt and Junkyard. I love this figure. If you guys haven't seen the review, uh, check it out. I'll, I'll post a thing up on it. I'll post it in the comments. Uh, then we have some Copperhead up there and Viper. And then, of course, we have a bunch of Copperhead and a few more of those Cobra Troopers, uh, Python Patrol Troopers. I know that they're officers, but those are trooper molds. I don't care what anybody says. We got Egon from Bright Features, and we've got some of the cast for this new Ghostbusters. I wish they'd get like a six inch scale for this. Maybe that's going to be there. I haven't seen anything about it yet. But I would prefer a six inch scale for the Ghostbusters than this four inch one. Ecto 1. I thought this was kind of cool. Um, Justice Lord Superman and uh, Batman Beyond. And I just thought the Batman Beyond was cool because of the wings. And, of course, we still have some gold label Animal Man. We've got a Batman back there and a Batwing. And then, of course, we have gold label Red Tornado. I think those are the, the Target exclusives, too. So some Supermans. And we've got some, some new Transformers. We've got the United, uh, Legacy United. So I forgot who that was. That was Boulder Crash. We got the Energon Megatron, um, which I'm not thrilled about because I want a larger one. And then we've got Tasmanian Kid, which is cool. And then there was a couple more Energon Megatrons back there. And really, that was kind of the big thing with uh, Transformers as far as the figures go. There weren't anything else, you know, just evolution wise. And then I thought I would dig around. They had some rhinos. And. And A2, Target, you too, you had to go and let people steal goddamn heads from figures? What the hell? Oh, and then here we go. Evolution uh, Deadwing. So there's uh, Armada Megatron. And Dread Dreadwing, not Deadwing, Dreadwing. Which is the first time I've seen this figure, which is really cool. I'm like holding on to him because, you know, I don't want like I could buy them or something. But, you know, I don't want anyone stealing them out before I can get a closer look at it. So I came back over to the other side. Of course, I'm going straight to Masters of the Universe. All the Masterverse stuff's there. But they have a bunch of uh, mouse draws. So that was nice. Be nice to see the rest of the line show back up again. Uh, but we are not seeing them. And then we have a bunch of Wave 4. So Jitsu, Sorceress, Sorceress, Jitsu, Jitsu, Sorceress. Uno reverse card, sorceress, jitsu, jitsu, sorceress. And then we got some some of the Star Wars figures. Thought I would go over here and look. Some of them are going on sale. Um, Iron Sheik, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Jimmy Hart's. No variants that I could find. So. Is up there. 
Otis was up there. So there you go. And some of the hologram uh, bo -Katans. So, I mean, those are still there. I don't think they're going to go anywhere. I think those are just going to sit there. And we went over to collectibles, or I went over to the collectibles aisle because it was just me. Uh, just to kind of see what was over there. Not a lot. Same thing. There's Bloody Ash. There's Superman for that tune. I'm seeing more of these tune figures showing up. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Freddy Krueger and Sam. I'm kind of hovering the, the pops, but there really wasn't that much there. The Wanderer is still there. I forgot what the other dude's name is. Um, got some Sinestros. Uh, Angela, Goliath, Aquaman. Aquaman sucks. We all know how we feel about Aquaman. Uh, I did find a Mark 34 that was broken into. So, you know, there's that. I don't know what they were going for in that. Probably the blasters or something. Just throwing this out there. If you guys want to see like a Talking Toys version of an Aquaman Sucks t-shirt, let me know in the comments down below. I think that'd be kind of badass. That's kind of the collector's aisle, really. M Mr. Freeze. There's a Batman over there. Werewolf Mikey, I think it was. Last Ronin. There's Earl and the Baby, as usual. This aisle has not changed. Actually, I think this aisle changes more frequently than Walmart. But overall, does not change all that much. Got all that going on for it. And that was kind of the rundown for everything that was there. Uh, I didn't go over to Ross because we just, I hadn't been hearing anything worthwhile in the last two times. Kind of sucked. So that was our toy run today. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more epic toy reviews and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep those figures posing and those collections growing. This is Joel from Talking Toys, signing off.